This is some green light good stuff called Collugion. No, not collusion, that thing that I'm always accused of doing. Collugion. K-O-L-O-G-E-O-N. Collugion. It's a dude there with a mask, black head, no face. Reminds me a bit like the Masked Magician from the 90s. Do you remember the Masked Magician? Anyway, this is the game. Um, one thing I really wanted to stress with this one, I really wanted to point out, was just how smooth the animation is. Um, especially for something that, like you see here, the frames are missing for a stylistic effect, but it still looks really sort of fluid. It's just something very beautiful about the way it looks. Uh, reminds me a little bit of Hyperlight Drifter, um, with with regards to just sort of the pacing of the combat and of course the, the camera perspective there. Um, but it does look really cool, I love the art style. Um, it's got this kind of rough edge to all of the art. Um, everything looks a little bit a little bit like it's been scrawled, but not in a way where it has been scrawled. You know, it, it's very stylistically scrawly, if that makes sense. I might not be making sense there. Um, but I love it, it's very distinct. You get a lot of games that have these this kind of retro look to it, and they look like any other retro game. Whereas this has a very strong, bold art style going for it. And there's a bit of a stag deer thing, so that's good. Isn't it? Look at that. It's just looking at the bloke. So that's Collugion. 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 I know how you say it. Description. Collugion is a dark mystic action adventure set in a procedurally generated handcrafted realm tormented by demons and spirits. Mm. You are an immortal soul that can traverse dimensions outside of physical bodies, fighting for centuries as you establish permanent monuments to mark your journey. Kalugiao builds around the idea of an unfolding experience, freedom of exploration and self-discovery where quests and guides are not present, letting you craft your own journey. With procedural generation, we aim to create an unrepetitive experience. Unrepetitive? Is that a... Is that a word? I don't know if it is. Create unrepetitive experiences where death is still a setback, but won't mean that you'll have to memorize levels and replay the same thing over again. However, this isn't a roguelike. Your actions and progress stay permanent. Well, that's good. We've, we've got in, like, I love a good roguelike, or, or well, there are roguelike likes these days. Um, but I'm always up for something that isn't that, because we've got so many. Explore and interact with a world built on top of itself coexisting with one another. Uncover the story through a gloomy dark atmosphere, interaction with spirits, and events you witness or cause. Every place and feature of the game is carefully crafted. Every place and, and then there's a dash feature. Almost as if there's something... That, that reads sinister, like every place and feature of the game is carefully like like that's a threat anyway I don't know where I was going with that that idea so I'm just gonna abandon that and keep reading fly roll and rip through demons with a fast satisfying mobility based combat involving astral projection giant spiritual weapons time disruption possession and manipulation of souls forge weapons from your enemies and manifest their abilities enemies can dodge parry and tear you to pieces as the game is easy to pick up but difficult to master well Okay, that all sounds good. That all sounds nice. That whets my appetite. That sounds like exactly the kind of game I could be into. Plus, it's got a giant scythe in it, so that's tick two of my boxes. If you're interested, the game's on Kickstarter. Uh, they are currently... Oof, uh, they are at uh, $35,000 goal with only six grand raised and eight days to go, which is a shame because this does look good. Um... I might actually, I might kick a few dollars on this myself, actually, because I'm curious enough, and I, I feel like taking a gamble. I feel like taking a punt, which I should point out, if anyone does decide to kickstart it, that's what it is, that's what we're doing, we're gambling, um, taking a punt, I don't want people to stop backing games based on my recommendation and start getting angry at me if something goes wrong. Uh, do remember, uh, I'm looking at promising games, not games that are confirmed to be good. It's got to cover myself there. Um, but I'm probably going to kick them a couple of bucks, a couple of buckaroonies, and good luck to them. 
Incidentally, the Greenlight Good Stuff series has already had its first success with its first episode. You know, we've only done one video so far, not including this one, um, when we covered Shots Fired, and it got greenlit, uh, apparently because the response following my video was huge. Uh, it got a lot of upvotes uh, as a result of my video, and... Yeah, the, the, the Shots Fired team have been very thankful for all of your upvoting and for the, the good light green stuff. Good light green stuff, I knew I'd fucking end up saying that. Green light good stuff. Um, it's already doing good. You know, now, fingers crossed, Shots Fired turns out to not disappoint us, um, because now the pressure's on. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased that that's happened. We've done some good already, if the game turns out to be good. God, please let it turn out to be good.